stuff in here. A locker at the subway station. お荷物を取り出すときにレシートが必要になります。レシートは必ずお受け取りください。Closing your eyes against the facts of life, dare to assume you are seeing and hearing what you would see and hear if your desire were true. Now tune it in as you would a radio. If when you turned on the radio, four or five stations are heard at the same time, you couldn't stand the confusion and would turn the radio off. So it is with your imagination. It must be fine-tuned. From Neville Goddard's 1969 lecture, Christ in You. And Neville goes on to marvel about the invention of the radio, how it can produce sound out of nowhere. Yet he is saying, the mind is more amazing, and the mind is what has created the radio. So realize, not just the marvels of the radio and all the sounds it can project from all over the world, but your own mind, what you can tune in and what can be projected from your own mind. And one of the ways Neville teaches to turn on your mind and be able to finally tune in to your manifestations. Neville says, Think of a friend who would truly rejoice in your good fortune. Tune him in until his is the only voice you can hear. Let him tell you of his thrill because of your good fortune. Listen carefully until his voice is crystal clear and you can hear the sentence you put upon that voice. And we can all do that right now. We can all hear clearly the voice of someone. Maybe it's a loved one, maybe a celebrity. Usually we do this all day long. Often people do it naturally when they're in arguments, hearing the arguments in their head. But now you will practice and you will learn to hear lovely things based on whatever it is your heart wants. What is this, honey? Raw fish? I 
idea what it is. You got caught it? Wow, beautiful. In closing, Neville says, If you are a musician and stop practicing for a week, you will not be qualified to give a concert. Only when you practice daily are you qualified. And so it is with your imagination. It must be exercised daily. Many times people hear these teachings and they sound simple, especially because we already use the imagination unintentionally each day. And so people will go after things that feel big and far, hard and possible. And when they're not able to get what they want, there's frustration because these truths ring true, they resonate within. But yet why do people not always meet success? Because it's like any skill. We must practice and develop it. And daily. Because if you don't practice daily, it's easy for days, weeks, months to pass. And you haven't practiced. So in this way, even though it sounds easy, it is something you still have to apply, operate. You who hears these words right now, that's the awareness. The awareness must direct its focus and repeat it until it becomes a habit, home. Mmm, it's really refreshing. And some meringue. Oh, it's like, it's like a lemon meringue pie. Lemon, candied lemon. Mm, even that's good. I mean, I'll come to a coffee. There's the cream. And that sugar syrup. Mm, yes, thank you. Now, let us go into the silence. Good.